allergies. Allergies is one of those things that can lead to sinus pressure. When we get tooth pain from a sinus infection or sinus swelling, this is known as referred pain. There are four main sinuses in the face. This maxillary sinus is normally the culprit for tooth pain. The purpose of the sinus is actually to filter the air coming in and out of our nasal cavity and also to produce mucus to help clean out the nose. When you get an infection, you can feel it more because it is literally building up with more fluid, almost like a balloon. It has air in it, but if you were to put water or mucus in it, it would get heavy and you would feel it in your face and pushing down on the roots of your teeth. You will normally feel it on your upper molars or premolar area. It's normally a few teeth rather than one specific tooth. And you might also feel things like low energy or feeling kind of sick. Another thing to notice is if you are moving around, like running, doing yoga, you might feel a change in how you are feeling that pain. So pay attention to that if it feels like it moves around. Other things that might pop up are facial and nerve tenderness. So when you're feeling around, does it feel like a little sore? Is your mucus discolored, like green or more yellow? Did you lose your sense of taste or smell? Halitosis, which is bad breath, ear pain, or feeling like full, or even a sore throat. Some home remedies for sinusitis, which might help that annoying tooth pain that you're feeling, lots of water. Steam, two times a day. What I love to do is take my hot water kettle, pour it into a big bowl, put a big towel over my face and kind of hot box myself into the steam area. Oh, it just helps all the mucus and buckiness flow right out of your nose. You can use a sinus flushes like a neti pot or something that you squirt up into your nose to help flush that all out. Um, you can use the congestive meds that help to kind of get that mucus out of there with, you know, stuff like NyQuil, DayQuil, that kind of stuff. Nasal sprays, there are some great ones that have xylitol in them, which actually helps the bacteria to minimize as well. So check that out. Eventually, if all this stuff doesn't work out, you want to try to visit the doctor because there could be a need for a surgical issue if there is something having to do with how your nose is actually structured.